I think most people are kind of like me and enjoy when somebody like, you know, an overly cockly person, somebody who just, cause you, you want to have self-confidence. Self-confidence is very good. You need that in sports. Most sports are mostly mental. You need self-confidence, but you know, the person who just goes over the top, does too much. And you're just like, ah, I just want to see you lose. I just want to see you. I just want you to see you get hit with reality. I thought we was going to see that with Jake Paul, but Tyron Woodley, yeah, you, you dropped the ball on that point. But anyway, this is kind of like that. This is cocky fighters getting destroyed. So with no further ado, y'all know what we're about to see. Let's get into the video. Go off. That is why we all find it satisfying when they get their just desserts, whether you admit it or not. This is especially true within fighting sports when an arrogant or cocky fighter gets knocked down a peg or two within the ring. In today's video, we will take a look at 10 moments where the cocky fighter gets completely destroyed in the ring. But before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way you will never miss a future upload. Number 10. Braulio Rodriguez versus Ryan Garcia. Even at the weigh-in where Braulio Rodriguez shoved his opponent, it was clear that he thought he was better than his opponent, Ryan Garcia. After Garcia fired off a few punches, Rodriguez's cockiness went into overdrive as he believed he had an easy victory on his hands. <laughs> After the two <laughs> down the away from week, bro. Lock, Garcia managed to land a hook that Ooh. dropped Rodriguez on his backside. That hook was quick too. Mm. Unfazed, Rodriguez continued fighting and began showing off by trying to dodge punches. He Keep later danced up, on the spot and even stuck his tongue out tauntingly. Of course, it was all front and Garcia managed to mm -hmm. knock his cocky opponent mm -hmm. almost clean out of the ring. Mm -hmm. Number 9 and that's what I don't think people understand about combat sports. You can lose at any moment. It takes one shot, one hit on the per just one hit. All it has to do is connect clean and it, it power right, clean shot, boom. It can be all over one shot. And I just feel like people forget that. <laughs> but maybe he maybe he felt the first the first hook and he was like, ah, you know, there ain't no lot of power behind that. It's kind of slow. I've seen it coming. I, I've seen it, but keep your hands up. <laughs> keep your hands up. Cocky Irish fighter. Despite cocky Irish fighter James Gallagher trying his hardest to intimidate his opponent, Ricky Bandejas, at the weigh-in and before the fight, it's Bandejas that stays cool and humble right up to the moment he savagely knocks Gallagher out. And the hooks are dangerous, man. If you don't believe in karma, you might after watching this fight. Mm -hmm. Number eight, Peter McNeely, tough words. Peter McNeely had a lot to say running up to his fight with Iron Mike Tyson. Why? In fact, he Why? argued with the not know who I am? at the press conference. Hey, keep laughing, keep laughing. They'll feel funny, huh? And even shared a poem that would even make Dr. Seuss cringe. I'm Hurricane Peter McNeely from Medfield, Mass. On Saturday night, watch me kick Tyson's ass. But if you haven't made your pay-per-view arrangements yet, make them soon. Because remember what happens when I wrap you in my cocoon. This cocky yeah, fighter bro. acted more like a W. Yeah, it's cocky. It's cocky, but at the same time, that's just for money. That's just to sell the paper. Even though Mike Tyson alone is going to bring some pay-per-view money, that's just a, uh, that's stupid. That's, that's selling wolf tickets. You know who you fighting. You know who this is. This is Iron Mike. Iron Mike. People didn't want to spar me when I was 15 years old because I hit too hard. You know who I am, bro. Okay. WWE wrestler than he did a boxer, but was actually far smarter than he seemed, even holding a bachelor's degree in political science. When McNeely and Tyson finally went head to head, mm -hmm. no amount of tough talk could get him out of the impending knockout that was coming his way. In the first round? It was clear that Tyson was the much better fighter and that McNeely was fighting on borrowed time ever since the first hook that knocked him Ooh. back. 
After two minutes in the first round, the fight was over. You lasted two minutes. I can, uh, I can beat you, but you, hey, two minutes. Wow. But that's just for a pay-per-view. Number seven, Badr Hari versus Peter Graham. Cocky kick fighter Badr Hari showed Peter Graham nothing but disrespect running up to the fight. At the press conference, he refused to shake hands and went on to insult Graham by calling him an amateur. Later that day at a press conference, Hari couldn't resist trying to intimidate Graham, also planting a kiss on the Australian, which resulted in a slam to the ground. Oh, that's your soldier. <laughs> in the ring, the cocky fighter got another taste of sweet karma when Graham made quick work of him with a spinning mm. heel kick, sending him out of the arena in an ambulance. Mm. Not bad for an amateur, right? <laughs> Number six, okay, KSI okay. versus Logan Paul, two. Both being huge YouTube personalities with even bigger egos, when KSI and Logan Paul first announced they would fight, both YouTubers showed a level of cockiness that only fueled the rivalry further. The first fight ended with a controversial draw that merited a rematch the following year. I mean, Logan, I think there's only one thing to do. I think we got a rematch giving both guys more than enough time to trash talk each other on their platforms, as well as turn their press conference into a trash talk circus. When it came to the rematch, both fighters didn't exactly pull off what they had promised beforehand, but KSI did manage to win on points against Logan Paul, who had predicted that he would knock KSI out in the first round. You know, Number five, Show like Off them. Gets Owned. In this raw amateur footage, a fighter steps into the ring, formed by spectators, by jumping in and spinning like a ninja. He is so confident that he will win, in fact, that he even gives some of the audience a high five in preparation for his quick win. Unfortunately, things didn't go down the way he wanted when he jumps, backflips, and front flips right into a devastating punch that almost knocks him through the floor. You doing too much, dog. The winner then goes around and gets his high fives as the ref tries to wake the showboater back up. Maybe I ain't never seen nobody get challenged people this to man a flip into a punch. Instead, what? It would certainly save him a lot of pain. I ain't never seen nobody flip into a punch before. Whew. <laughs> wow. Number four, the dancing boxer. Wouldn't I wouldn't be blamed for thinking that this was some sort of comedy sketch, but this dancing boxer equipped with a chain that would make Mr. T envy. I think I know who this is. I don't remember his name, but it does look like a comedy sketch because it looks like his shorts are entirely too big for his body. It does look like a Saturday night, Saturday, Saturday, a Saturday night live comedy sketch or in living color. If y'all know what that is, y'all know what that is. But yeah, is an actual like a fighter. Goes. Although this show off looks like he is enjoying the attention far too much, what he doesn't take into consideration is that his dancing is tiring himself out. It doesn't get any better once he gets in the ring as it turns into an MTV music video, popping his best moves for the camera. Unfortunately for him, he wasn't as slick in the ring, getting knocked out cold in the very first round. The, you did all that. In the first round. It's Ooh. scientifically proven that you can't dream while mm. you're knocked out. But if you could, mm. I'm certain this boxer would be in the middle of the dance floor mm. celebrating the his hooks, victory. Man. Number three, Bermain Stavern trash talks Deontay Wilder. Bermain Stavern had a lot to say during his press conference for his fight with Deontay Wilder promising to break his ribs and jaw before the fight was over. I'm gonna crack your ribs, I'm gonna crack your jaw, I'm gonna send you home packing, and, and you will retire. Of course, with such tough words, it was in Stavern's best interest to at least beat the man. See, I don't know, I'm not that type of guy, like all that trash talking, and thing. I'm not a trash talker, I really am not. I've always been the type, I'm gonna let my, like when I was playing football, I let my football player do the talking. I'm not a trash talking person. During the games, I wouldn't say nothing too much 
I don't know. I just let my stuff do the talking. So like, if I was a boxer, I don't think I'm bringing in too much, too many pay per view. I'm not. I don't even think I'm having pay per view fights like that because I'm not talking that much. Like all that talking is I right, okay. I don't know. Maybe that's, that's just been the way that I've been raised. You know what I mean? Always let your 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 work do the talking. You don't talk too much, so I can show you better than I can tell you. It's always been like that. I don't do that trash talking type. I'm not. It's not me. I can't. I don't know. Was talking so much trash on. on fight night, however, Wilder got his revenge by controlling <laughs> the fight with his calm attitude before firing a jab that knocks yeah, Stavern onto jab, his back wow. in the first round. Stavern does try and keep the fight going. But after shakily stepping up to Wilder, he is smacked back down into the corner. One he final time, he tries to fight, but at this point, <laughs> look at his face. His whole confidence is gone. Bag before being his confidence is gone. Cold. Oh, he knocked you back like that? Number oh, that's two, embarrassing, bro. He had you like, like that, like that. I don't know. I think I'd rather, if I was to get knocked out, I think I'd rather be sleep sideways or like lay it out instead of on, on my knees. And I'm just, that's a bad, that's a bad look. That's a bad, that's a very bad look. Especially if you somebody parent. <laughs> if you somebody parent. That's a bad look, bro. I don't think I would it. I uh, Yeah, I don't know. Hold on. Again, fighter knocked down a peg. This arrogant fighter wasn't shy about putting on an embarrassing show where he demonstrated how not to drink a can of soda, as well as make props to insult his opponent with the oldest taunt in the book. The display caused an equal mixture of cheers and boos that only fueled the ego of this MMA giant. The two beasts began trading blows, however, the once cocky fighter was reduced to a curled up ball and was trying his hardest to protect himself until the bell finally rang. Yeah, you too, big. Maybe uh, next time he will think twice about calling that round one? chicken and then proceed to hide away when the heat is turned up. Yeah, you too big, bro. That you too big. <laughs> Number one, Charles Lado Parissa does MC Hammer move. Charles Lado Parissa certainly knew how to make an entrance when he pulled out some MC Hammer moves prior to his fight with Dubai's Sultan Al Nuami. Sadly for Lado Parissa, it was his loss that made for the real hammer time as he was smashed down onto the canvas shot? and through the ropes by Al Nuami. The dancing fighter tried to beat the count, but he couldn't get to his feet on time. And that concludes our video on 10 fighters who got instant karma yeah, after being bro. cocky. I don't know which one was worse, honestly. Y'all gonna have to let me know y'all opinion. Y'all gonna have to let me know y'all opinion, but I don't know which one was uh, worse. I don't know if it was the one where he laid out like this or the guy who flipped into a punch. Y'all just gonna have to let me know. I'm not 100% sure. Sure. I just know I don't want either of <laughs> That's a bad look. That's a very bad look. But anyway, that's be it for my reaction, y'all. If you enjoyed this reaction, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll be back with you guys next time. I'm out.